How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode 7 of the Kansas City Royals franchise. If you guys would like to see more of this series, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section what you guys enjoy about the series and what we could do to make the series a little bit more interesting. In the last episode, we had a poll about a trade and you guys absolutely voted yes. There was like... <sighs> It was like 6% no, 93% yes. So we definitely will be doing the trade in today's video. Also, I do have today's poll for you right now. Today's poll is going to be how many times do you guys want to see this series a week? Um, I definitely want to bring it to you more often. And so I'm going to ask you. So in the today's poll, you guys are going to see in the top right hand corner, there are different options. Go and click which option you guys want. That's basically how polls work, right? So, yeah. So, basically, top right-hand corner, click that little eye icon, go to the poll, go vote how many times you guys want to see this series, and then I'll definitely do my best to make it happen. So, let's hop into today's episode. Let's make let's make it happen. Let's make that trade happen because that's that's why we're all here, right? So, some guys off offered up really good uh, alternatives to trades as well. You guys offered, like, Matt Olson. There was a someone said get some pitching someone said get uh find some other ways to make like uh some other players as well the th the reason why i went with josh bell was just because he was a player that was um able to be traded for and that's why like matt olsen is a very very tough player to trade for he he's just one of those players that has a high trade value he and Unless I gave away a big prospect or something like that, there's just no way we can get Matt Olson. So as much as I would love to have Matt Olson, I know he does well in franchise videos. I know he was our franchise series. I and I know he's a great first baseman. Josh Bell was a player we could get, and it kind of it was it was it was a player that I could trade away players on our team that I didn't feel bad losing. So this was what the trade was going to be. Um, someone said try to get a a pitcher in return, and realistically they don't i mean we could get a pitching prospect and which i mean i guess isn't bad so all right we'll, t we'll take a we'll take a pitching prospect um add some more youth into our team and now with that trade being made we're gonna have josh bell on the bench he's gonna play first base for us and uh it works out really well um i really like this trade for us i think it's it's a great addition to the team um and with that being said we have our new outfielder and catching backup cam gallagher and brett phillips i know they're not the most exciting of players but they're gonna get the job done so um we'll do it that way so with the addition of josh bell into the team you guys can see this is the lineup he fits he fits in the lineup so well you know switch hitting first baseman hits both sides pretty decently you know he's he's kind of in the prime of his career i think things are gonna work out really well for him in Kansas City he already moves up to an 80 once we add him to the lineup it's a really solid addition to the squad so today we're gonna hop into this series against the Cleveland Indians man we got this is this is a really important matchup for us like I said in the last episode this month is super super important for us it's kind of like a make or break in terms of the division for us we have we you know we're tied with the Indians for the division lead we have three series against the indians this month we have a, a series against the white Sox and also against the tigers so let's hop into this first game brad keller Ma mike clevenger let's do it all righty hop into the game at kaufman stadium 45 and 38 for the indians 46 and 39 for our kansas city royals this is going to be a good game i'm looking forward to it it's you know it's just one of those games like this could really set the tone for how our month is going to go and if we can hold on to that first place lead in our division. So, Brad Keller's 5 and 6 on the year with a 4.15 ERA, 1.35 whip. So, it's it's okay. I definitely wish it would be a little bit better. He's one of our better pitchers in the team. So, we'll have to see how he continues throughout the year, but it's looking like starting pitching as much as I like some of the young players that we have, it may be an area that we need to improve on. So looking at T Tyler Naquin's season so far, he's a much better road hitter than he is a home hitter. So we'll definitely have to keep that in mind. Alrighty, 0-1 here to the leadoff hitter. Another fastball. And in left field, Alex Gordon should make the play. There he goes. 
One up, one down. Here's the Indians lineup. They have Naquin, Leonis Martin, Jose Ramirez, Lindor, Carlos Santana, Jason Kipnis, Jordan Luplo, Jake Bowers, and Kevin Plawecki. If you guys missed yesterday's rebuild of the Indians, quick little plug. Go and click that. Stop this video. Go back to the channel and watch it. All right, we're back to today. <laughs> we're back here. I mean, you know, middle of the plate, just a little low. And he fouls it off. So 2-1 count. We're going with the slider. And our right fielder kind of... That's that's Solaire. Solaire reacted a little slowly to it. Um, luckily, he made the catch. But that, that's a little worrying. You know, that's definitely something to keep our eye on. Solaire should be a little bit better out there in the field. Alrighty, Mike Clevenger for the Indians. 8-4 and four on the year. A 3.03 ERA. 1.19 whip. So he is having a pretty solid year. You know, 100 strikeouts in 101 innings, 28 walks. Yeah, he's definitely definitely having a good year this so far. So we're going to have to be on our A game. And Billy Hamilton's up, leads us with steals. And I think it said, what, 29 steals? Okay. Throws a high fastball. So now it is a 1-2 count. Can Billy Hamilton start us off? He only has a 347 average so, or... No, not at 3.47, 247. But it is going to go up a little bit. It won't jump up to a 3.47 average, but he does lead off the game or our half of the inning with a single. Oh man, a 3.47 average. He'd be killing it right now if he had that. So now we got uh Adalberto Mondesi. I almost said Raul, but that's not his. I mean, that is his name, but it's not and he's going to hit it into foul territory. Is the left fielder got enough space to make the play? Diving effort. But he drops it. So Mondesi's hitting 258. I'm full of mistakes today. Just saying wrong names, wrong averages. Man, I guess I guess I didn't have enough coffee this morning. But <laughs> let's, let's, let's see how today's game continues. So an 0-1 count here to Mondesi. Can we get it going? That should be a base hit into left field. Or right field, actually. See? Oh, man. I got to I gotta wake up a little bit more. But first and second, no outs here. And it's looking really good for the Royals. Mondesi on first. He's got some speed. Hamilton on second. He has blazing speed. And we're looking good. Whit Merrifield, 334 on the year. Man, he's crushing it. And the wild pitch is going to get the runners even further into scoring position. Second and third now. Ooh, this is looking good. Base hit. Scores two. Ooh, this is, this is nice. This is a good position to be in. Man, getting one run, getting two runs would be perfect start to the game. And there... It's, it's going to get one in. The runners had to hold. They thought Santana at first was going to make a play. But it's all right. We still get the run in, have that one run lead, and Whit Merrifield's amazing season continues. He already was hitting 334. He just makes it a little bit higher. Gets another RBI to his total. And ooh, what a start to the game. All righty, 0 2 count. Just fouled off a curveball, was a little early on it. So can. the Oh, this might be a double play. Dude is not beating that out. Unfortunately. They turn two, but the run scores. So we do have a two-run lead now. I thought just maybe it would have squeaked by Ramirez at third. But now we have our new first baseman, Josh Bell, step into the plate, hitting 279 on the year. It's worked it full now. A 3-2 count. Salvador Perez on deck. Come on, let's see if we can get him his first hit in a Royals uniform, maybe even a walk. Get him on base. And the slider gets him, ooh, just a little early on it. And he goes down swinging. So two runs do cross the plate. And the Royals have a 2-0 lead heading into the second. So 0-2 count now. Let's go, let's go up and in on him. See what he can do with it. And uh, Soler, I don't think Soler's getting to this one. Carlos Santana was waiting on that. And this is going to be a double for the first baseman. 
Oh, Solaire's jumps in right have been atrocious. Both times balls have been hit to him. He's taken a second or two to react to it. And that's definitely something I need to keep my eye on. We may need to put Solaire in the DH spot because his bat is quite good, but his fielding definitely let us down right there. So Santana also was sitting on that high fastball. So, I mean, they got a guy in scoring position. Definitely don't want them to score. Can we shut this down? I, I don't know how to say his name, but it's a 0-1 count. We're going to this high fastball that kind of got us in trouble last time. This time it's off the plate. 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Guy in scoring position still. Change up catches too much of the zone. And they are going to score their first run of the game. A single into center field. We're just going to toss it over to second. We possibly could have gotten him at home. Billy Hamilton does have quite the arm. But I figured he probably would have taken second if the throw was off or didn't get him at home. So rather be safe than sorry. Let them get the run across, and it is now a one-run game. There we go. 0-2 count. we got to be smart here. Can't let them get back into the game. And as I say that, it is a ground ball to the pitcher. Should be the inning it is. And unfortunately, we do get two runs previous inning, but they get one back. And it is a 2-1 game. Got to be smart here. Anything close, it looks like we're going to have to swing to keep, keep the bat alive. Salvador Perez up the middle. Lindor keeps it in front of him. 18 speed down the line. Still beats it out. You know, it would have been an impressive play from Lindor if he made it. But it turns out to be a base hit. Um, you know, if, if he was able to keep it in the glove, throw it over to first, that would have been an amazing play. Luckily for us, it just bobbles out and we're able to get our catcher on first base. So. Alex Gordon, 235 on the year. A thing I've noticed about Alex Gordon is he is starting to decrease in rating very quickly. So that was another reason why I wanted to get Brett Phillips up. But as I say that, Alex Gordon, gap shot. Are we going to send Perez? You know what we are. We're going to test the arm of the shortstop Lindor. It doesn't matter. He double pumps. Not too sure why he kind of faked the throw. But an RBI double for Alex Gordon. Just as I was, was saying, he's aging. He's starting to decrease in rating. What does he go and do? He shuts me up, gets that RBI double, and gives us that two-run lead back. Alrighty, one-two count. Gordon on second takes a little bit of an extra lead. Let's see if we can get a base hit here. Keeps. Oh, man, I was going to say, can we keep the inning going? We can't. That slider... I was expecting a fastball. He's been le he's been heavily relying on it. This time he goes off speed though, and gets Billy Hamilton swinging. Going change up down and low, full now. Definitely need to get the out here. We can't let we can't let a runner get on. So high fastball sees him. Look at it, and we get the second out of the inning on the strikeout. Again, just misses outside. So 2-0 count. Hitters count for sure. Got to make sure we don't give him anything. That looks good. Slider down in the zone. Unfortunately for us, he takes it. He goes opposite with it. Like, he goes inside outs it. How is he going to inside out a, a pitch like that? Actually, no. We missed our spot. He goes with the slider and takes it into left field. So, good piece of hitting there. Can't get upset about that. So, guy on for Jose Ramirez. Got to be careful. Luckily for us, he grounds it to Mondesi. Mondesi, easy play for him. Tosses it over to first, and we get out of the inning. So, no run score, and we have our 2-3-4 hitters coming up. Mondesi in the center field. Is that going to drop on... Ooh, just hung up a little bit too much. Not bad contact on it. Just, just hit a little bit too close to the center fielder. Alrighty, 0-2 count, two straight change-ups. Goes high fastball, sits off of it. So 1-2 count. He's starting to mix up his pitches a little bit. So we got to gotta be careful with it. Lucas Duda sitting slider. Is that going to get down? It does. Can we get two on this? Duda's speed is a little worrying. Luckily, the throw from center 
was off and we get a two out double with Lucas Duda his eighth on the year but like I was saying he's starting to mix up between the fastball to change up the slider quite effectively and uh, this time was sitting slider worked out perfectly Alrighty, 0-2, and the curveball gets him, so two strikeouts for Bell on the day, and that's how the inning ends. The double from Duda doesn't mean anything. Heading into the fourth, still a two-run game. Alright, 3-2 count, here we go, fastball. Can he stop fouling it off? This is getting insane. Backdoor slider, oh my gosh, really? Pitch number 400, it seems like. And he hits it to right field. Does Soler make the catch? He does this time. He actually had a good step on it. Good reactions. And makes it a fairly easy play. So two up, two down. Carlos Santana's at bat seemed like it was like 700 pitches. Salvador gets up, throws it to first, and that's the inning. So it seemed a lot longer than it should have. No damage was done, though. And, um, you know, still two-run game. And Alex Gordon takes one off the shoulder. High fastball. Seemed to get away from him. And we are going to get a runner with two outs. Guy on first. Two outs. Can our right fielder keep the inning alive? He's going to ground it towards the third base side. They're going to toss it over to second for the easy play. So, again, no run scored. And it seems like the offense is starting to cool off for both sides. With this close game, we, we can't afford... Whoa! Timeout. You've been giving us the call outside the zone all game. And then when we get strike three, you go and give us that. Are you serious? You're not going to give us the call there, Blue. And because of that, they're going to get a base hit? Oh. Oh. Gross. And he's sitting, he's a little late on all these pitches, so that's that's a little weird. 0-2 though, high fastball. And again, he fouls it off, so 0-2 count still. Guy on first. Low slider, gets him swinging. And we got our second strikeout of the inning. Alrighty, Naquin's up. And he's going to second. Salvador Perez with the throw down, and we got him. Got him by quite a bit. There we go. They run themselves out of the inning. And no damage done after Luplo, Luplo, however you pronounce his name, gets on first with that leadoff single that they had. See if we can add some insurance runs. Help out our pitching staff. 0 for 2 for Josh Bell's debut. Two strikeouts as well. We need we need to start changing things for him. As I say that, a little late on the fastball. It is going to be a fly out. Man, that sucks. All right, Kevin McCarthy is coming into the game. He's been struggling this season. Close to an 11 ERA, which is not good. But I figured, you know what? Let's put some faith in him. See how he does today. And so far, a one pitch out. So it's going well. It's going okay. Keeping it low in the zone. And we missed our spot. That's going to be ball four for sure. And with two outs, the Indians have the game-tying run up to the plate. Luplo's two for two on the day, too. So we got we to gotta be careful. Make it three for three. Just, he reaches out, was way early on the pitch, and somehow hooks it down the third baseline. The Indians' right fielder is just proven to be a problem for us. Like, he's just, he's killing us. Alrighty, with the lefty coming up to the dish, we're going to bring in Brian Flynn. His stats look like this. Over 30 innings, he has a 3.82 ERA. A lot better versus lefties than he is righties. So, kind of, it makes sense to bring him in versus Bowers. Good slider. Okay, not the best of locations, but we do get the first strike. That's all that matters. Fastball down in the zone. Okay, 0-2, two quick strikes. 
Can we get him out here with the fastball? Missed our, missed our spot. Come on. Can't allow a run here. And Bowers hits it to right field. Soler makes a good jump on the ball. Makes the play. And we get out of that two runners on. Whew. That could have been scary. That could have been bad for us. Billy Hamilton hits it in the right field. Um, two outs, though. Jorge Soler struck out. So we had two strikeouts to start the inning. First pitch swinging for Hamilton just over Kipnis' head. And now we got a lead. We got a we got a guy on first. Two outs. Mondesi's two for three on the day. Come on, here we go. All right, takes a, takes a ball. Two two count to Mondesi here. I'm gonna send Hamilton. We got two outs. Come on. Mondesi may be in the gap. I think that's gonna hang a little bit too much. Yeah, it is. Center fielder's gonna make the play. And that's going to be the inning. So, Billy Hamilton single doesn't mean anything. And here we go. Top eight. Let's see. They got a righty and two lefties. We're going to we're gonna leave in Flynn here. He did, he did pretty well last inning. Oh, this is not a good spot for the fastball. I missed, I missed my spot. So, I, I purposefully messed up the, the pitch location because it was a little bit too far down the middle. Naquin. Just fair. Gordon has a decent arm, but that's that's a double for him. Fouls somehow inside outs the pitch. Takes it to left field. And they have a double with one out. So we're gonna go to the bullpen. Yeah, inside outs that pitch. We're gonna go to the bullpen here. We're gonna bring in Jake Diekman. Having a decent year. A you know, a, a two four nine ERA. It's pretty respectable, right? You know. He's keeping the averages versus lefties and righties very low, both under 200. And in 21 innings of work, he has 26 strikeouts. So he's, he's pitching lights out so far for us. So this would this out right here is very important. As I say that, they hit it to right field. Are they going to try to send him? They don't. So we keep the runner at second. We get the out. And Jose Ramirez is up. He hits... He hits righties a lot better, so obviously we're going to keep in Diekman. We can't. There we go. I was going to say we can't let him get a base hit. Luckily, Dozier makes the play on the ground out, and we strand the runner at second. We keep him there. No damage done. Bottom of the eighth time. Alrighty, Josh Bell. Here's your chance. Let's do something here. 0 for 3 on the day on your debut. You got to do a little bit better. That's not a good start. All right, come on. Let's wake up. Let's do some damage. Let's keep this inning alive here. We got very lucky on that call. That That's a blessing right there. 1-1 one, one count. Two one count now. All right, you've got to expect the we're expecting a strike here. Where it's going to be though? No idea. Josh Bell, base hit. There we go. We get the first one in a Royals uniform. Makes it a one for four day. Takes that high fastball up the middle. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Seven game hitting streak for our first baseman as well. I'll take it. Just, yeah, high and away. Takes, takes the pitch. Takes it that way. And he gets his first hit in a Royals uni. Alrighty, so I know in real life, Boxberger's not doing as well. But here... 35 games, 28 saves, a 30 inning, over 30 innings. He's having a pretty solid season, a sub three ERA. So let's keep it going. He's been lights out for us. Can he do it again? Good slider, get some swinging. One, one count, that change up. We're going high and away though with the fastball. What? What? Blue, you're killing me. We had him looking and everything. We're going to the changeup, though. And it is now a full count. Oh, man. Slider down in the zone. Get some swinging. And we get the out regardless of the bad call. And Brad Boxberger gets his first strikeout. 
High fastball. Oh, catches the outside part of the zone. Oh, this guy's predicting a strikeout. All right. All right, we're going to give him a strikeout. We're going slider. Misses. Uh, that was a changeup. I lied. I lied. This time we're going with the slider, though. We're going to give him that strikeout. Just fouls it off. Ooh, come on. All right, I got to... Got to stay away from that high fastball because Santana likes it. Salvador Perez keeps it in front of him. And that's the second out. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Two strikeouts. Can we get him with the changeup? Everyone in the crowd standing up, getting hype. And we get him swinging for the third out. That's the game. A 3-1 to one victory over the Cleveland Indians. Gives us a one-game lead in the division. And that's a good start to the series celebrate in outfield let's celebrate all night that was a good game for us so the offense started off hot but then clevenger tore us apart so we gotta figure out a way to get to this indians lineup early and often because or the pitching staff i should say we got to get to them early and often because we started off hot it went really well and then you know fourth inning fifth inning it really got ugly because they were striking us out left and right and we did have nine hits, but it really didn't mean anything. You know, we only, first two innings, great. But after that, it just, it was gross. We got, we got killed. You know, what was it? Ten strikeouts. Ten strikeouts by Clevenger. We didn't even get ten strikeouts between all of our pitchers, I think. So, like, that's not good. That's definitely not good. So, um, Josh Bell in his debut went one for four. Um, I'm actually going to not sim any further because this month is going to be very important for us i'm going to leave it here and uh possibly next episode we hop into another game against the indians or even we hop into the next series against the indians i'm kind of still thinking about it but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always i'll catch you all next time peace